Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to go over the features of this gift card bear and show you how to put it together and a couple options that are available as well. So before we do that, let's just talk about how it generally works when it's all done. You can take a gift card like this one and you can set it right in here like that. You could even put a couple of them in there just like that if you want to. Or if you've got one of the bigger types of cards, maybe something like this one, you could also set it all the way down inside just like that. So it'll hold a number of different types of cards or sizes and you can also put more than one in there as well. It includes both the uh, gift option or I'm also including the love you heart option instead for the arms. Or you can also have just a blank heart and you can put your own message on it as well. The pieces are not interchangeable in that once you glue it on there, it's permanent, but you do get to choose which one you'd like to use or to put your own message on there as well. So let's set, to, set this off to the side and we'll go over the pieces and I'll show you how they all go together. So here's all the pieces. Let me set these aside and we'll go over them. All right, here's all the pieces. It looks like there's a lot, but it's actually really easy to put together. Let's start with the main back piece right here. Remember that there are a couple ones that you're gonna to want to score when you do this. You want to score the belly circle there, and you also want to score the lines on the present there, or if you use the love you one, you want to score these, these arcs right here. Don't cut those. Make sure you choose score on the Glowforge app or whatever laser you're using. If you cut those, you're gonna end up doing those again because it's gonna fall apart in ways you don't want, all right? So here's the middle part for the bear. Let's start with the head here. This guy right here, you just simply lay over top of this and glue it on just like that. And then you'll take his nose and mouth and you're gonna glue it on right, right, bleh, <laughs> right like that. Now, let me, stop and talk about what you want to do if you're going to paint this for a second. I like that the eyes look black underneath. So what you're going to want to do is just paint a little circle area here black and you can see where it's going to line up right like that. So just paint black back there on this layer. And you can also do the same thing underneath this one. So you can just paint some black right there if you want to. And then when you glue this on, those colors will come through. All right, so there's the head and the top part of the arms and the mouth and nose. And then we'll move down to the knees and the lower legs. So that's these two pieces here. You're just going to line this piece up right here with the top edge there and the same thing there. So you're just gonna glue it on just like that. And then we'll do the feet next. Each foot is exactly the same. You take this back piece here and then glue this one on top. Now. Just to have uh, the feet go in the right direction, I like that the toes are on the left side here and the toes are on the right side here. So this is your, I'm sorry, that's actually the other way around, but this is the left foot and the right foot, so it goes like that. Uh, but that's totally up to you. Glue these together just like that right there. Uh, and then you're gonna glue that right on top of that circle there and that one there, all right? And then all we have left is the arms. And there's two options here for the arms. And I want to show you both of them. You can just take the gift or whichever one you're using and put it right across like this. And I've included um, some options here. And let me show you how those work as well. You can put it just like this right here. And I'm going to take the base. And while, the, while you glue that on there, I'm going to take the base and set it right under here to support it just like this so that it doesn't fall and you can glue it on there like that. And then once that, that glue dries, you can pull the base out of there. So that's one little tip. And then you're going to then put on the forearms on them just like that and glue those on as well. So that's one option, but let me show you another one. If you know you wanna use some bigger cards like this that are thicker, or maybe you wanna leave a, a, you know, a love note for your loved one and just stick it in there like, I, I'm gonna going to use this after Christmas and leave notes for my wife every now and then and just it'll I'll write her a letter or a little note fold it up and put Angie on the outside and stick it in there so she can find it when she comes in I think that's going to be fun and romantic if you'd like to have a little more space back under here here's what you can do let's take those arms back off for a second and these little like half elbows here you can stick those right on like that 
because that's going to create more space. So right like that. And then we're going to put that on there. And what I'll do is, while the glue is drying again, I'll put another spacer under there so it'll hold it up here. And then we can do, do just like this. And you want to uh, put those at the same angle as the, uh, as the arms for, with the present. So you can do just like that. Sorry, I'm lining this up with the camera is a little hard for me, but there you go there. And then once that dries, you can pull these pieces out, uh, put the top forearm on there, put the other forearm on there, and you got that. So that's another option for a deeper space underneath there. And then of course, when that's all done, you'll be able to stand it up and put the slot on, uh, put the uh, base on and stand it up. As always, before you get started, make sure that you cut the sample slot that's in the design. And you want to make sure that you test it with your materials and you're going to measure yours with the calipers to make sure this fits. Uh, because you'll, you'll want to get a, a nice snug fit here, just like that. And you may or may not have to adjust that depending on what material you use. And then of course it ends up like this. Or if you use this option like that. I think you're going to love it. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'd love to see how you guys paint these and how you use them. So send me some pictures and let me know if you have any questions. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.